Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on a Power BI or Power Query uh, tip and trick. So I have this data set that you can see right here. It's basically just a simple table that has a year uh, column, a month column, channel name, and then the total sales. So this is basically just a simple export from a sales system. What I want to do is that I want to use this and show you how we can uh, do merge operations and also record operations and I want to uh, or record navigation operations and I want to compare those two to show you uh, what's best when dealing with this type of scenarios in Power Query. So I've uh, imported this table from Excel into Power Query. I can see my query right now. So this is the query editor and I have this year, month, channel name and total sales. What I want to do is that I want to get the sales, the sales uh, by channel, as you can see here, by month, but for the previous year. So I want to basically at this level, 6892, I want to get the 1550 that I see, 1515 that I have over here. Now, there are two ways to do this. And probably one of the, the ones that I see the most uh, is probably the one that I'm about to show you, which is the record navigation. So I'm going to go to the add column, go to custom column. And now here I'm going to do a series of operations in order to navigate to a specific record. So first, this is the name of the table. Source, source is the name of the table. That is the name of the, my first step. Then curly brackets is for a list. And inside the list, I'm going to have a record. So in this record, I'm going to say that my year has to be equals to the year that I have in my row basis minus one. That's going to give me the previous year. Then for the month column, it has to be exactly the same that I have on a row by row basis. And then the channel name has to be exactly the same that I have on a row by row basis. I'm gonna close this record. So the square brackets, I'm gonna close the square brackets and now I'm gonna close the curly brackets. And just like that, I've done a record navigation. You're gonna notice that some are giving you errors and some are giving you records. So the reason why this ones are giving you errors is because there's no record that has a 2015 year value. So that's the reason why we get those errors. Now you have two ways to get rid of this error. The first one is replace values. So you go to transform, replace values, replace errors. And you say, I want to replace this ones with no, just like that. Or you can do it the uh, hard code M code, basically going to the custom column that you just created. You're going to use the F error. Uh, function that we have in in Power Query, or similar to if error from Excel, and it's called try. So you're gonna try to do that, and then you're gonna add that if that fails and it gives you an error, you're gonna say otherwise no, and that's just gonna give you a null value. Now this can be done. Um, it's fairly simple once you actually uh, understand how records work. But the issue here is that uh, if you're dealing with a lot of records or a lot of data, like millions of rows or even thousands of rows, this is not going to be really nice. This is going to be extremely slow uh, because you're trying to do a navigation, basically scanning each and every one of those uh, rows of this table over and over again until it actually satisfies uh, the criteria that uh, we set in that custom call. So even if you have a thousand rows, this will be a bottleneck for you. So I wouldn't recommend this even if you actually just have a thousand rows. That will be like the maximum amount of rows that will probably try this on. If you have more than a thousand, then probably let's just, let's just go with the next uh, solution that we have for this, which is way faster. And it's actually even user-friendly. So 
I've actually uh, done this uh, operation, or I'm about to do it with you guys, uh, through merge uh, tables. So I'm gonna merge queries. But before I do that, I'm gonna create the helper column. So I'm gonna select the year column. I'm gonna add a column, go to standard. I'm gonna subtract from this year column the value one, which will actually give me the last year. So this inserted subtraction is actually giving me the previous year. As you can see, 2015 and here 2016. What I can do now is go to merge queries and I'm gonna merge this query with itself. So I'm gonna use the sales current and I'm gonna say that I wanna insert subtraction. There we go with this one, month with month and channel name with channel name. I'm gonna keep the left outer. I'm gonna keep everything just the same. I'm just gonna click on OK. And you're gonna notice that it created this new column. It's always just gonna be called new column. And when I expand this, so I'm just gonna expand this to get only the total sales because that's really all we, we want. It actually sorted the data for me, but I'm just gonna sort it again to be just the way it was before. So I'm gonna sort it by year, ascending, month ascending, and see how it's actually keeping that sorting. Really nice. And then sort it ascending. There we go. As you can see, 2017, 15, 15. And this is actually way faster than the other way where, where we actually had to hard code the record navigation. So if you're trying to do record navigation or simply element navigation, you can do it. It's just that it's not gonna be your best choice if you're trying to do it with uh, over a thousand rows or even less at some points if you actually need to use a lot of fields. So it really depends in that case. It's better if you do just do a simply merge with the current query and just uh, do it that way, way faster. Uh, anyway, I hope that you guys liked the video and thank you.